guys, today I'm going to show you how I quickly curl my hair. Um, I had gotten a lot of nice comments about how my hair looked in one of my blog posts when I featured a certain face of the day. So I just wanted to show you guys how easy it is to acquire this look. And it doesn't take long at all. What I'll be using is um, a heat protectant spray. It's the Tresemme Heat Tamer Spray. It's very inexpensive. You can find it in any drugstore. I will be using two butterfly clips, a small one and a larger one to hold the rest of my hair up. I will also be using the curling, a Revlon curling iron. Um, I'm not too sure what model this is, but this is about a one inch barrel. Uh, if you like tighter curls, then I would suggest to use uh, a smaller curling iron, but if you want softer, looser curls, then the bigger, the better. <laughs> and then the last thing I'll be using is also, is my L'Oreal Annette L Net hairspray. And that's it. So if you guys are interested in watching how I achieve my curled hair look, then keep watching. Okay, so the first thing we're going to start off with is a heat protectant spray to spray on your hair to protect your hair. Um, for people who don't prefer heat protecting spray or who don't like products in their hair, I would suggest to put just extra conditioner at the ends of your hair just because it um, will dry out with all the excessive heat. Um, so what I'm going to be using is the Tresemme Heat Tamer Spray. It's super inexpensive and it's in the drugstore. It's in every drugstore and it works really great and it smells really nice. So what I'm going to do is focus it on the ends of my hair because that's where the concentrated heat's going to be and do a fine mist all over. Now I'm going to just brush my hair to get all of the product incorporated and to also let it settle because you don't want it to go straight from spraying to curling because it still is damp and it can burn your hair. So what I do is I split my hair into two sections like this. I clip it up with a handy dandy butterfly clip and look like a peacock. Um, okay, So now I split my hair onto two sides just like that and I like to go from the back to the front with my hair. But whatever preference is yours, then by all means do it. So I just take about one, about one inch sections. Um, you can also vary on the length, on the, not length, but the, the width of hair or how much hair you take. Obviously, the more hair you take, the softer the curl. The less hair you take, the tighter the curl will be. And then I'm going to take my curling iron and I'm going to have the clamp facing away from me so my hair gets curled away. I don't like curling my hair towards my face. So basically, we wait about 10 minutes. Not 10 minutes. That'll really uh, get a nice curl, right? Uh, we wait about 10 seconds or so, 10 to 20 seconds, depending on how thick your hair is or how um, straight your hair is. And then you let go, and there's your curl. So then you take, so then you take the hair that you just curl, throw it back so you don't curl it again. Take another section. Again, with the clamp facing away. Just wrap the curl. And wait. And then I'm going to take my last section. Same thing. I know that there are some people who will say for you to curl your hair into different, um, like some towards your face and some away from your face, but I like my I like to do my hair this way. Um, but again, it's your preference. This is just how I do my hair. So 
So now I'm going to go and curl the other side of my hair and then we'll come back. And now that we sprayed the bottom of our hair, what I like to do is I like to just um, grab it into like a little ponytail, take a small butterfly clip, and just clip it so it's out of the way and I don't accidentally curl it and all that stuff. And then I let go of the top of my hair. Depending on how much of a rush you're in, you can just do the top of your hair, just like the top layer, just split it into two and just do it. Um, if you have more layers, like I do, I suggest to split it again so you have just another layer left. So you're doing three tiers of your hair. So clip it again. It'll look funny. Uh, brush out your hair so it's no knots and no snags when you... Okay, so you repeat the same process Again, curling your hair away from your face. So you take it. Again, 15 to 20 seconds. You could lightly touch the barrel where your hair is curling and kind of feel the heat going through your hair. Then we have one curl. And for people who have like, you see how my hair is getting shorter. What I do is I wrap it and then I like lightly release the clamp to grab the rest and the ends of my hair. And then I can continue to curl. That way you get all of your hair and not just like the middle of your strands to the top, then it'll just look uneven and gross. Okay, and then do the last section of hair. So basically, grab it, clamp it, wrap, release, wrap, release, and hold. And you let go and because um, this is the top layers and you want your curls to show more I tend to spray the side once I finish so there you go so now I'm gonna go and do the other side and then we'll be back Okay, so now I'm back. Um, as you can see, the, I have my hair curled. So now we push those curls back, let go of the top, split the top in two. Um, I part my hair down the middle. If you part your hair to the side, I would suggest to part your hair, the more hair you have, to like one side. So like if I parted my hair, I'd do this. So the curls would be um, uniform, I guess you could say. So, just put my hair down the middle. Again, brush it out for no snags. And then, repeat. Again, curl, release, curl, release. Well, not curl, wrap, release, wrap, release. Until you incorporate all the shit, your hair from root to tip. Sorry, I keep looking down. My uh, mirror's down here. Release. And then if you have long bangs, um, section them off. 
and I'll show you how I curl mine so they don't look crazy curled and you don't look like Shirley Temple. Wrap, release, wrap, release, hold. Okay, so basically what I, what I do is I take my bangs, again, facing away, I only curl the ends. So I'll only wrap it like this, really lightly, and let go. So it creates like a soft wave going into the hair. Again, wrap and release. So again, hairspray. And then do the other side. Okay, so now just hairspray that. Release the bottom. And then just shake out your hair. Shake out the waves. And if you need extra hairspray, don't be afraid to use extra hairspray. But other than that, you're done. So this is a really quick and easy way to curl your hair. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So this is it for my hair look. Um, it's really easy, really simple. Once you get the hang of curling your hair, it's, it's a snap. It takes me about 10 minutes, if that, to do my hair like this. So if you guys have any questions or any comments, please send them my way. And uh, thanks again for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.